This is the first and most important ingredient for peace in our soul, the foundation on which everything else is being built. Jesus Christ, rejoice in him, Paul says. You know, joy, and I've mentioned this before, is a key word in the book of Philippians. And here in our text, Paul uses it this morning in a far stronger way even, as he is commanding us to rejoice. And rebellious as we are, as fallen sinners in a rebellious generation, we want to talk back to Paul. And we want to say, but Paul, how are we to do this, please? Joy is not something that you can just produce. It's not something that you can just do, Paul. Don't you understand? It is something that unexpectedly comes over you. How dare you, Paul, command us to rejoice, as we know that you have no control over your joy. And this is exactly, beloved, where we got it all wrong. 